Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very excited because I'm going to be linking the Baby Shark song to handwriting. And this time I'm going to be talking about working on the pincer grape or pincer grass flax. Some people have chosen to call it. And it is using the index finger, the thumb, and the middle finger. So if you've watched the Baby Shark song very closely, you'd agree with me that there's a movement and a demonstration in the first verse that has to do with baby shark notice this movement and so the index finger of course in children is used for poking piercing touching pointing and this is the finger that has to be strengthened first in preparation for handwriting and then it's going to be worked on with the thumb before you introduce the middle finger so the index finger and the thumb are used for gripping like this pincer grip and so this is the f when it's strengthened it's going to also help in the gripping using of pencils and then when it's gripped like this you have to support it with the middle finger so i suggest that when they sing the song baby shark they also exercise the muscles of the finger whilst they are singing the baby shark song so watch the video again because i know a lot of people have watched it but may not have paid attention to the movement of the fingers in baby shark Second verse is like it also that has to do with mommy shark. A mommy shark has to do with putting the wrists together and then moving the two hands up and down. Mommy shark, like that. In you agree with me that when you succeed in gripping your pencil and supporting it, which is called a tripod stand grip, you're going to place your wrist on a surface to write and the ability to write and move the fingers without moving the wrist shows a firm grasp or a firm grip of pencils and a very good formation in handwriting so you're going to encourage children when they sing the song to exercise the muscles of their fingers in preparation for their fine motor skills and in preparation for handwriting and the third one is the daddy shark the third verse of the song and then the daddy shark song has to do with moving the entire hand so if you've watched the video you can you can see the movement of the hand and encourage them to stretch out their hands while they do the movement that's for the daddy shark and then so for the baby shark mommy shark daddy shark grandma shark grandpa shark I like the part that has to do with run away, run away, it shows the swimming movement. So you can encourage children to do these exercises in preparation for handwriting. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.